Hey, what's up everybody? It is Randy from the Black Orchid Project. Just another day of quarantine and I thought I would throw out a video. If this gets crazy, excuse me, I just got a new gimbal and trying to learn how to figure it all out. And so today is going to be the first subscriber slash follower um, question that I answer. Uh, one of the, one of my Instagram followers um, sent me a question about a plant that she has, but we're going to get to that in just a second. First of all, I want to say welcome to everybody that just found the channel, although it is new. Everybody's kind of following it, but a lot of you guys found me through the My Plant, My Orchid is Dying video over on my other channel, and so for all of you guys that came over, I appreciate it. It was crazy. Um, I had like 200 followers, and in a matter of a couple of days, I have almost 1,500 followers, and the video is up over 80, like 80,000. I've moved the video over here if you want to check it out if you haven't seen it. But on my other channel, it's up over like 80,000 views. It's, it's just crazy. I've never had a video go viral like that. And it was really fun. Or not even viral, but just get that much attention. And it was kind of fun for me and my son. When we realized it, it was like we didn't wasn't watching it. And it just kind of happened. So it was kind of crazy. So anyway, I just want to say welcome and thank you guys for following me over here. Now, um, this question was sent to me by, like I said, an Instagram um, follower, and her name is, and I'm gonna mess it up, it's Io Satisco. Io Satisco, as I believe is how she pronounces it. And um, check her out, I'll put her information somewhere around here. Go check her out, um, I went by her website and she at, she offers some like really cool plant decor and plant pots and things like that so um yeah go check her out we we all got to kind of help each other but anyway she sent over a question about one of her orchids and it is kind of it's kind of got she's worried about it because the the leaves are kind of floppy and so she sent me this message and said, you know, the, the leaves are soft, a little wilty, kind of leathery. And I will, and I've been soaking it for two days and letting it rest for two days. What do you think? And so first thing I did was ask her to send me over some pictures of it so I can get a better idea of what we was talking about. And she did more than that. She sent over a video. So let's check that out right now. Hey, okay, so here is the plant. It has like, it has two, well, it has four kind of relatively large leaves and then um, one that's kind of growing right here. And then one that's, I'm actually kind of excited about that's growing right here. Um, so I know that it's not, I know that it's not dead, but this is what happens when I press the leaf. It's just very, um, I don't know, just, I feels, it feels like it's bending more than it should. And I watched a video and the video essentially said that, um, you know, I should try having a couple of days in water and a couple of days out of water. So I've been doing that for a while. I don't know if it's working. I know that, um, I know that that tiny little leaf, you know, seems to be growing, but that really seems to be the only thing that's changing. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. So there you go. There's the video she sent over to me. Doesn't she have a great voice? I really like her voice. Um, so as soon as I saw the plant, uh, you know, you see the big leaf and then it pans out and you can see that there's new growth and, and she had healthy um, roots. So right then I knew she was fine. It's just a matter of if you haven't had anything like that before, then you just kind of, you know, you're worried and you don't know where to, where to go with it. Because I, what I thought was funny, she said, I have, new, I have new leaf here, but that's the only thing that's happening. And in the world, for me, uh, especially rescuing orchids, as long as I have a new leaf and or a new root, I know we're good to go. That's when I'm just like, oh, this is definitely going to make it. And so um, that's what I check for first and foremost is a new leaf. And like I said, once a new leaf comes, I always know we're in good hands. So I actually have one just like it. I'm just going to kind of go over um, what I saw in hers, compare it to mine. So give me just a second. Let me flip this thing around. Hold on. All right. So here's mine. This pretty much just going through the same thing as hers. 
And this is really why I wanted to make a video um, because I could show everybody and then show her exactly what was going on. So as you can see, this has some pretty big leaves here. And this was a rescue. Um, I'm not quite sure how long I've had it, but it was a rescue. It's definitely, it's been repotted already. Um, and you can see, like I said, this leaf here, look at that, it's leathery, it's soft, it's wilty. Same thing, this one is a little, has a little more, you know, it's a little more solid, but it's, it's wilty also. But here's the important thing right here. Um, look at that. You got three, hopefully you guys, hopefully this works out, sorry. This, you have three, four good, three good leaves here. So this was the first one to sprout. Here's the second one, here's the third one. Now what's interesting about this is that plants are, um, they have self-preservation, kind of like we do when we go through hypothermia, where we move resources from one place to another. And with plants, they will move resources from the bottom to the top because the top is gonna be most healthy. And so they move resources from the bottom. Usually what's happening here is when the, when the plant started to go into stress where it thought it was going to die, it started to pull water and nutrients from these leaves here and, and to, you know, to create a new root. And I don't know if you saw that, but this one actually has a couple of new roots in it and everything. So, um, so yeah, they'll pull nutrients and water away so they can feed the top leaves. And I, and I think what happens is now... Let me preface everything I say. I'm not a professional. I don't do horticulture or anything like that. I just know what I've experienced over time. And so take it all with a grain of salt as far as like the technical stuff. But I do believe what has happened is um, all, the, all the resources are coming from here and it's starting to feed these new leaves and feed these new roots. And if you've had, um, if you've had orchids long enough, you know uh, these are going to fall off anyway. Like this will be the next one to fall off. This will turn yellow and, and fall off. And then this will turn yellow and fall off eventually. And then you'll be left with these two um, new leaves here, or these leaves here. Now, the interesting thing about this is kind of a telltale sign. So it was going through stress. It kicked out this leaf. Once this leaf got long enough, it actually kicked out another leaf, which is this one. So since this one is shorter than this one, it seems like it may have gone through some more stress. Um, and so it stressed out a little bit, kicked this leaf out. This leaf started to grow and now it's kicking this leaf out. In the end, this one will probably stay, a, this one will probably stay short. And these two are starting to get long and will probably get as long as these. So I'm going to switch this thing back around just a second. We're, we're back. So anyway, um, yeah, I believe that's what's going on with her plant. Um, she had healthy roots. She had a couple of healthy leaves. And she was doing a two-day soak and then two-day off soak. And my recommendation was for her to go on and get it in some bark um, and put a little bit of sphagnum moss on top just so it doesn't float out because she didn't have a lot of roots to really anchor it down. And so when she waters, especially if she soak waters, um, which I highly recommend with bark because it'll soak into the bark and the, the moisture will last longer. Um, it'll float out. So if you put a little bit of moss on top, then it will actually stop it. Plus, it'll help retain some of the water and keep those um, keep those roots nice and healthy. So your plant is going to be okay. Don't worry about it as much. So anyway, like I said, that was the first one. I am going to flip this around one more time, you guys, so you can see. This is my studio. I actually shoot stuff here. I'm a photographer, like I said in my other video. Um, and so this is my studio, and I actually shoot another. I have another channel called Dad's Kitchen. Check that out. I do a lot of, um, like, easy cooking, really easy cooking, quick meals, Instapot, air fryer type stuff, and I'll be moving into some more complicated stuff as we go. It's pretty new too. If you are into cooking and things like that, follow me over there. Um, Dad's Kitchen, I'll put it up here. But um, this is my studio and this is where I keep a lot of my rescue. So I'm gonna flip this around so you can see it. And this is my window here. This is a west facing window. And 
Let's see if you can get up here. It's a beautiful view there. This is facing west. And this is where I keep most of my plants. And all of these here on the left side are all um, rescues. Actually, I think everything in here is a rescue at this point. So um, I'm going to flip this back around. So yeah, um, I'm going to actually do another video where I just kind of walk that and show you all of my different plants and things like that. I got a couple of couple in bud, a couple have just come out of bud, and I got a couple that are out right now. I know one of them's getting ready to um, to flower, but again, since we have been in quarantine, I haven't got a chance to go check on it or anything like that. I just know they told me it was gonna it was going to flower. So or, or it was just about to flower. So I'm really excited to see that. And what else? I think that is it. So um I hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's interesting where I am. They're talking about opening stuff again here soon. And like in a couple of days, so it's gonna be like guinea pig century, central, trying to, you know, people figuring out what happens over the next couple of weeks. But again, I hope you guys are all good. I hope this in some way helps you out, even if it just gives you something to hate or laugh at throughout the day. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? Nope. I think that's it. Again, thanks for everybody that followed. Um, thanks for everybody that is that that's going to follow. And um, if you got something out of it, please subscribe. If you're new, hit the bell. Follow me over at um, the Black Orchid Project on Instagram. That's B L K Orchid Project. And if you have a question, I will answer it. And um, so send it over and I will see if it's something I know. I'm not gonna act, I'm not going to answer something I don't know um, or I don't at least have a good idea of. But if I feel like I can answer it with some and help you out, I will definitely give it a try. And if nothing else, it puts it out there for other people to chime in and say, hey, you know, try this. Even if, if you have a question, I'll try to put it out and let other people possibly answer it. So for this, episode. Thanks again for joining me on the Black Orchid Project. You guys be safe and more than anything, be kind. Peace.